using Echo in a Jenkins pipeline. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.361.2. And on this controller, I have three jobs. The link to a gist that has these three job definitions is down in the description. Let's first take a look at job one. And with job one, what we have is we have two stages, one using the pipeline echo step, and another stage that's using the sh step calling echo. Now in this case, I'm accessing the build number environment variable from the job. And you can also see that when I'm using the echo step from pipeline, I'm referencing the build number by using an env dot. Now that env dot is completely optional, but I'm just adding it in for clarity. When we're accessing the environment variable using the sh echo, so we're using the native echo within the agent, because we're connecting over sh, then we're just echoing out the environment variable that's seen by the agent. So if we take a look at the output of job one, what we're going to see is the echo for one is shown here. So this is the echo by using the pipeline echo step. But then for stage two, we see sh, which then shows the command that we're running, which in this case is echo build number. And in this case, the build number was one. So we get the output of one. So we have two different ways that we can echo. We can either echo using the pipeline step, or by using the native echo functionality within the shell call, or if you're using bat or PowerShell. Now let's go over and take a look at job two. With job two, what we have is we're going to attempt to echo out a credential. You'll see that at line four, we're using the credentials helper to lift out the credential for my secret text, which has already been defined on this controller and load it into the service creds environment variable. And then what we're trying to do is attempt to echo out the value of service creds. Now we know that we don't want credentials showing up in plain text in our log file, but let's go and take a look at what the run for this looks like. So if we go back over to job two and look at the output of build number one, now number one, what we can see here is we are masking supported pattern matches of service creds. That's actually good. We want that to be filtered out. In fact, if you look down towards the bottom, you can see that our credential is being masked out. But notice this warning. The warning is a secret was passed to sh using groovy string interpolation, which is insecure. Affected arguments were service creds. And you can click on a link to go understand what groovy string interpolation is. Now let's go back and take a look at the configuration real quick. The configuration shows that we have sh double quotes echo service creds. The string interpolation for groovy is around double quotes. So how do we fix this? Well, let's go take a look at job three. With job three, what we can see is we have the exact same job definition, except we've changed our double quotes to single quotes here for the SH. When we take a look at the output for job three, what we see is the exact same output from job two, except we no longer have the warning because we're no longer doing groovy string interpolation around that sensitive variable. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to Clobby's TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on Clobby's TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.